Hello, welcome to Holy Habitus, a video blog on discipleship. My name is Phil and we're doing the one year Bible reading plan for the New Living Translation this year, April the 25th. Proverbs 14 verse 4 says this, Without oxen, a stable stays clean. But you need a strong ox for a large harvest. Hmm. Growing up, my grandma, I remember, had a large ramshackle family home in Burnham, Buckinghamshire. And I remember there was a sign on the wall which said, a tidy home is a sign of a wasted life. Which is a humorous uh, way of making excuses for the fact that perhaps you're not as on top of the household chores as you should be. But there is something profound there as well, as there is in our proverb today, that if you want a clean stable, a nice tidy home, then don't get an ox. But actually, if you want a large harvest, you're going to need to get one. And all the messiness and smelliness and mucking out that goes with that, all the early morning, the feeding, the getting your foot trampled on, that's the cost of sharing in a larger harvest. That's a profound principle for us today, because sometimes in the Christian life we want to play it safe. We don't want to take risks. We don't want to step out of the boat. Uh, we want our lives to be nice, tidy, clean, secure, predictable. We want to stay with our nice holy huddle, our friends, the people we know and like. But actually, if we want to share in the kingdom harvest, we're going to have to step out into the mission field. And as we do so, it involves all sorts of messiness, doesn't it? All sorts of complications, strange people with strange ideas coming in, treading mud into our carpets. But that's the price we pay for the glories of, of mission and the wonder of the kingdom. That's how we share in the large harvest. Is that a challenge to you as it is to me this morning? One of our other readings, wasn't it, was Judges, uh, verses, uh, verses uh, 15 of chapter 5 and following. Um, it's the victory song of Deborah and Barak, and they sing this. The princes of Issachar were with Deborah and Barak. They followed Barak, rushing into the valley. But in the tribe of Reuben there was great indecision. Why did you sit at home among the sheepfolds, to hear the shepherds whistle for their flocks? Gilead remained east of the Jordan, and why did Dan stay home? Asher sat unmoved at the seashore, remaining in his harbours. But Zebulun risked his life, as did Naphtali, on the heights of the battlefield. March on with courage, my soul. Are we forfeiting the glories of the harvest because we stay home and listen to the shepherds whistling for their sheep? Do we sit unmoved at the seashore and not plunge in to what God has for us? That's a challenge for you today. I know it is for me.